Hi, my name is Andre Fredet. I'm with Red Hat, and I'm here with my colleague. Uh, hi, my name is Srikant. I work, I work at Ericsson. And uh, we're going to be talking today about an activity that's going on uh, within a, a few different groups, uh, so primarily Open Daylight, but also OPNFV and, and FIDO for uh, integrating towards what's being uh, called the Nirvana stack. So back in uh, around Open Daylight uh, Summit uh, late last year, uh, some folks from AT&T proposed a consolidated stack for SDN control, particularly for the telco environments that was composed of OpenStack, Open Daylight, and FIDO as a data plane, or VPP. And then using the OPNFE project as a, an integration project for pulling things together, testing, and uh, defining requirements. The, uh, so we'll look at, uh, we'll dig down a little bit into the work going on. Um, so just to back up just a minute on that, so as we, uh, as we, while around the same time as those, uh, that stack was proposed, we were also looking within the network project, which is where we're working primarily, of how we could integrate with VPP, and um, looking to leverage some of the work that was being done in the, within the GBP project, and started talking to some folks in, in the, working in that community. They were also looking at uh, ways that they could leverage a lot of the networking services that were available within uh, the, within NetVert. And so we, we started talking, started working, and um, that's what we're here to talk about, tell you about. Uh, so we look at uh, Open Daylight, how it integrates with OpenStack. We have a, it, it's a, it's a Neutron provider, Neutron backend. So there's a networking ODL project and plugin that uh, is, uh, resides in, uh, within OpenStack, it talks to Open Daylight over REST API, and provides the networking services for for Neutron and the, the OpenStack uh, scheduled workloads. Looking in, into the networking ODL driver, it's, it's composed of a, a set of different uh, components. So there's an ML2 plugin that handle L2, L3 plugin, and a, a set of service plugins that together, this is really the, the API, the interface between OpenStack and Open Daylight. Once we get into Open Daylight, there's uh, OpenStack talks to the Neutron northbound. And this is, was uh, uh, developed within Open Daylight so that we could have one common entry point into Open Daylight and allow for multiple different options to be developed for, uh, for networking. And two of them, the ones that I mentioned earlier, are NetVert and GBP. And they both can, you know, to some extent to, or another, uh, provide networking services for open daylight. So single common northbound, multiple uh, providers. And then talking to a set of plug-in, southbound plugins to, to communicate with devices. All right, so Shukan's gonna take over at this point. Yeah, thanks Andre. So uh, we have seen that there are two implementations in open daylight that is providing the same open stack uh, provider implementations. So let's look at the Open Daylight network implementation. Um, so the key uh, features of this particular solution is uh, it provides a wide variety of um, services like layer two, layer three, um, security groups, ACLs, uh, QoS, even also some advanced services like L3 BZP VPN, eVPN, service function chaining, IPv6, uh, some of them. Uh, layer two gateway also that to connect to the bare metals. So if you look at the architecture or the stack for this network solution, uh, as Andre was mentioning, the Neutron Northbound is the single interface towards OpenStack that receives the Neutron API calls and translates into the MD-SAL Yang models. So to the beginners, uh, just think of MD-SAL is a uh, highly distributed data store within the open daylight. So all the intercomponent communications happen through this particular layer, and it is also used for high availability and state replication. So once this neutron uh, information is stored in the uh, MD SAL layer, uh, that is where the network listens to the notifications from that particular data store. Uh, so uh, so one, another important point to note down here is what network does is it will, since it is designed to 
support multiple northbound systems like OpenStack being one of them, but it also designed to support Kubernetes and other orchestration systems. So what it does is it translates this neutron specific models into more neutral intermediate data representations. So the rest of the network business logic operates on this intermediate layer such that it can be agnostic to the northbound um, orchestration, orchestration systems. And uh, one another thing that to discuss is the network solution supports primarily OpenFlow and OVSDB based devices like OpenV switch or op OpenV switch with acceleration either DPDK or SmartNICs and also top of rack um, devices which supports VXLAN, VLAN translation capabilities to interwork with the bare metal appliances. And network uses the BGP protocol to interwork with the edge devices like data center gateways. Uh, today it uses the open source Squaga implementation for its BGP operations. Let's take a look at group-based policy in open daylight. So what is group-based policy in open daylight? It is an intent-based policy framework uh, where applications and users can define their networking requirements independent of underlying infrastructure. So it has defined constructs like endpoint, endpoint group, and con contracts. So one or more endpoints with similar policy requirements can be grouped into endpoint group, and then you can define contracts between those endpoint groups on how they should communicate. So one nice uh, feature about uh, group-based policy is it has a very good rendering framework where it can, we can support additional de device types uh, uh, using which it supports the netcon based FIDO devices, which is a key component in the Nirvana stack that we have seen in the previous slides. So what we have seen so far is what we have currently in open daylight. So we have two implementations that are providing this open stack uh, services. Both are intended to um, support multiple northbound systems and multiple diverse set of forwarding devices. Each has its own strength, like network has rich network control services, layer two, layer three advanced, and group-based policy has a flexible rendering framework. Last but not least, we have two communities working on two different applications, but having the same goal in mind. So what do we want? We want Nirvana within open daylight. So what does that mean? We wanted to have a single converged control solution in open daylight that can leverage best of both the solutions that Network and GBP has. So we need that single control solution that can support this rich set of control services at the same time of broad support for forwarding devices like OVS, VPP, hardware, and uh, more importantly, you will get two communities coming together and moving in one direction. So this is one high-level proposed architecture for such a converged, converged solution. So as I was mentioning, um, the target is to take the best from both the solutions. So it leverages the components from both network and group-based policy such that it will continue, it will have continued support for all the services that we described and additionally, it will support uh, both OVS and netcon based FIDO devices. So the current status of this activity is, uh, we, uh, the design discussions are in full swing in open daylight community, and we also have done a proof of concept to support a simple layer two service uh, in this particular, in, with this particular integrated solution and demonstrate with the FIDO data plane. In the, uh, um, the near term roadmap is we wanted to support more advanced services like layer three VPN, service function chaining, and some of the VLAN use cases. And also we wanted to validate this particular converse solution in a hybrid deployment where you have compute nodes with OVS, compute nodes with VPP. And we wanted to see, um, show you that single solution can support all these device types. So we quickly looked at what is Nirvana stack and um, we discussed what is, how OpenStack, Open Daylight integration is working together today, and how um, multiple implementations that are available in Open Daylight, the popular ones, Network GBP, we looked uh, in deep, deeper. 
and we discussed what is the need for converged solution uh, in order to support, um, uh, take the best from both the solutions and a proposed architecture for this. I know in this uh, short time, uh, we could just introduce you about this activity, but for more in information, there is one full day track on Thursday um, scheduled to cover many aspects of Nirvana stack uh, where you will find a lot more information and also there are some pointers to the current proof of concept work we, that we did in the community. That's all. Th thank you. Thanks.